While I was in Tokyo shooting some artists on iOS 8 photos, if you haven't seen that video, check it out in the corner right now. I also had a roll of Superior 400 loaded in my Rito 3D, and I decided to take a few little wiggle grams of the artists while I was there. Bit of a buy one, get one free on people's time. Here's a few of my favorite results. I just want to cut in here to talk about pivot points in your wiggle grams. It's very easy to just choose the subject, have it wiggle around them and call it a day. But if you play around with some different pivot points, you might find an option which complements the shot a bit better. Let's take this one as an example. If I choose something very close to the camera as a pivot point, I get quite a big swing on my image. On the opposite end of the scale, if I choose the background, then it will actually freeze the background. I'll have my subject kind of dancing back and forth in front of the image. But then if I choose something in the middle while having also an interesting foreground element, I think that's where we get the most pronounced 3D effect out of this wiggle gram. Each image you take might work better depending on the place you've chosen to pivot around. So don't be scared to have a little play. So some quick thoughts, the sunlight was an incredible improvement over the past attempts to shoot 3D photos of circus. It's an absolute must for getting the best image quality out of the Rito 3D. Secondly, I did mention in my review of the camera that you should get close to your subject, and I definitely confirmed it this time. For example, if we're right up in the subject space, we get a really nice pronounced 3D effect, but if we're a bit further away, the parallax is a bit lacking and doesn't really bring anything to the image. In that same video, I said to use the flash all the time, and I absolutely agree. This is a fixed focus lens, so there's no out of focus area, there's no separation of subject to background, except in the 3Dness of the photo, maybe. 
but the flash absolutely helps to cut out your subject from the background. I suggest sunlight, flash, and get close to get the best 3D shots out of your camera. Well, thanks for watching my face. If you enjoyed that, please leave a comment down below and I'll see you in a future video. Love.